This month is all about the shoulder. Um, and so far we've talked about some nice stretches, um, but today we're gonna talk about strength and how you know our rotator cuff holds that joint together for us, it protects it, that's its goal, right? It's a big, big set of important muscles. Um, big being relative. But, so our serratus anterior um, is right along our ribs. It attaches on the medial border of the scapula. So it's on the rib cage underneath it. And that's a stabilizer. Um, and it also does protraction. So it pulls the shoulder blades away from each other. And it's, it's an important muscle. Um, and so we're gonna talk about scapular push-ups. So you can do these at a wall, just to start. Lower belly comes in, okay? Arms out, and we pull the shoulder blades together, and then we push them apart. So basically, I'm gonna do, see if you guys can see. So your elbows don't really move, but you can be on your forearms if that is more comfortable. So we keep them down, and they come together, and then apart. So basically what you're doing is like, if this is your spine, retraction, protraction. So protraction is the shoulder blades coming away from the spine, retraction is them coming towards the spine. Um, and so uh, we can do them at the wall, and then to make it harder from there, you come onto your mat into a low plank, and then do the same thing. Now notice that my hips don't move. It's a very small movement, and it's very intentional. Um, but it really activates that serratus anterior muscle. And um, in things like chaturanga, um, that would be really helpful. So now we're gonna come into a plank. And we're going to make it a little more challenging. Come up into our plank. Now the hips stay, the hands stay, the elbows stay. We just bring the shoulder blades together and we push them apart. And it sounds very, very easy, um, but it's a really good, it's a really good workout. You know, you're in the plank position, so you're gonna get a little bit of activation in the pecs. Um, you're gonna get the delts a little bit, depending on which way you do the plank. Um, always being mindful of the wrist. But I like this one because it helps us to build some strength, and that's really important to balance out stretch and strengthening. Um, and if you wanted to take this one level further, you would elevate the feet um, from a plank position to make it more of a challenge. 